What's up, the internet? You're with Got That Funk, and this is a video response to my friend Kazoom Fowler and his recent video, Solving the Problems Feminists Preach About. Uh, Kazoom, before I get into explaining why I thought your video was a steaming pile of crap, let me assure you um, that there's no animosity here from me towards you. Um, I'm only being candid. I was trying to be candid with you in comments last night, but you immediately got very defensive. And I think that's because you probably perceived that I was being antagonistic. And I'm not really meaning to come across as antagonistic. I'm just being blunt. And I expect you to be as blunt with me as I am with you. Because I see that as a sign of respect. Okay, so I wanted to get that out there. Um, now, as I said to you in the comments section uh, last night, I found your video was profoundly ironic, okay, for a couple of reasons. Um, reason number one. Uh, one of the gripes that feminists have had throughout the history of feminism, uh, one of the gripes they have about men, is that men try to pigeonhole women and put them into some sort of a preordained box about what women are supposed to be like, you know. And here you are, a man, telling women what women are supposed to be like. Not just women, but telling this, saying this to feminists whose gripe is that that's what men do. So, I mean, you're basically justifying the feminist line on that one, which I think is incredibly ironic. And number two, and more to the point, I mentioned to you about the irony of a man telling women how women should be, and you say, well, it's no different than feminists telling MRAs what men should be like. And you seem to think that feminists doing that is wrong. It's bullshit. And you correct, it is bullshit. So... You don't fight bullshit with bullshit. You don't go, well, this is wrong over here, so I'm going to do the same thing. Whoosh. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. That's not going to solve anything. So, you know, the, the irony borders on hypocrisy here. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, if you really think it's wrong for feminists to be telling men what men should or shouldn't be like, then don't do the same in reverse. It's pretty simple, man. Uh... The other thing, the main thing that I took issue with in your video was several times you said that the solution to the suppression of women is for women to be more like men because as you see it, men are less suppressed than women. And you elaborated that in the comment section to myself and several other people. I totally know what you're trying to say and I profoundly disagree. And here's why. The problem as I see it anyway, is not that uh, women should be more like men or that men should be more like women. The problem is that we have these expectations about what men or women should be like in the first place. Um, with respect, Kazum, you need to step outside that box. I mean, you of all people should understand that we're all individuals. I mean, I don't fit the stereotype of what a man is supposed to be like. I don't fit the stereotype of what an American is supposed to be like. I don't fit the stereotype of what a white guy is supposed to be like. I don't fit any of those stereotypes and neither do I want to. You know, I'm an individual. I've got flaws, I've got virtues, just like you, just like everybody else. And I think all individuals, be they male or female, should be judged on their own merits for their own flaws and their own virtues. As long as we don't hurt one another as we go through life, we should be allowed to be ourselves regardless of what that means. And society doesn't get to tell you what you should or shouldn't be like. Now, one thing that you said in your video that I do kind of agree with, I just don't think you express it very well, was that women are in charge of their own emancipation as regards their suppression. I absolutely agree with that, but I'd go even further. Um, because men need to do the same thing. We all need to free our own mind, okay? And what I mean by freeing our own mind is allowing ourselves to think that there's a, a right way or a wrong way to be a man or to be a woman, you know? We need to acknowledge where sex and gender overlap, but we don't need to try to force people of one sex or another into some gender role or another, either direction. It shouldn't matter whether someone's genitals are concave or convex or constructed. We're all individuals. 
and we should be treated as individuals. Simple as that. Gender roles, almost, you know, in an ideal situation, we wouldn't even have, gen gender would basically be almost invisible. It would be something that you acknowledge as someone's part of someone's identity, perhaps. But other than that, uh, you shouldn't have any expectations about what they are supposed to be like. Okay? Um, treating people as individuals, uh, acknowledging the inherent dignity of every human being, that kind of thing. Um, I think that's the solution to the problems that you're identifying. I don't think the solution is to compound the problems by putting all these stereotypes about what men or women are supposed to be like. We're not supposed to be like anything other than ourselves. And I would have thought that you understood that better than anybody. You're a unique individual. No one gets to tell you who you should be or how you should act. And when someone does, you have every right to sort of slap them down and say, no, I am me. And I refuse to accept the cage that you want to put me in. The same is true for men. The same is true for women. You know, we need to free our own minds. Absolutely. We're in charge of our own emancipation. But on the other hand, taking it from the big picture point of view, we can't do this in isolation. It, there needs to be a movement of mind opening of, you know, this is why feminists will talk about gender roles and want to break them down. Breaking down gender roles is the right approach to the point where, as I say, uh, gender is something that people have as part of their own identity, but it doesn't necessarily have to be something that society imposes on them. Okay? That's my two cents. Again, feel free to be as candid with me as I have been with you. Um, and I hope that you give the things I've said here some thought. All right. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.